Promised us about Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. Let's all talk about Halloween, Silver Shamrock. All right, so this one was streaming on Hulu as well. It's called The Friendship Game. It came out in 2022. And this was, I'm not going to lie, this one was, uh, this one was, this was tough. This was a tough one. I understand why the reviews are harsh on this movie. I'd be remiss not to express that it was a frustrating watch from a story perspective. I had no idea what was going on. It was quite difficult to sort of follow everything. The, the marketing of this film set this movie up to be something that it was not at all. I can't even really tell you what happened. I really can't. Like, I, I literally cannot describe what happens in this movie. You know, a bunch of friends are playing this friendship game that they find at a yard sale. It kind of looks like it kind of looks like the uh, the lamentation configuration from Hellraiser. So I'm thinking that there's going to be some like game of death style puzzle that they that's going to go crazy, you know, drive things crazy. I mean, you really could. You know, it's funny. You could do a very simple Hellraiser movie. Kids in the house. They they buy they buy the lamentation configuration from a yard sale, just like this movie. Use the same setup and then have the kids in the house. They open the box and the Cinnabites come after them in the house they're trapped in the house because the of course you gotta you gotta block all the exits so nobody can escape and then you just have them running around the house trying to um trying to you know uh escape or solve the puzzle or something it would work man and everybody got you know gets killed one by one this that and the other um i will try to listen I, I try my best not to, you know, say negative things on, you know, when reviewing things or I try to, you know, I, I'm of, of the firm believer that, you know, if you have nothing nice to say, then either don't say anything at all or, you know, be very um, expressive, be very uh, descriptive in your um, reasons why don't say something sucks because things don't suck. Things just are, and you, you either like them or they don't, or you don't. Um, so the positive thing I will say about this movie is that I absolutely loved the fake Italian horror movie posters and VHS tapes for Bag of Guts, a fictional movie within the movie, as well as the movie within a movie that they watch on TV, which was just perfection. It really did feel like a Italian horror movie from the eighties. I wanted to watch that movie more than I wanted to watch the friendship game. If I'm being honest, um, there was so much love and detail that was poured into the production design for this. And it didn't go unnoticed for me. So anyone who is a genre movie fan will pick up and appreciate um, all that stuff, as well as the nod to Larry Cohen's, the stuff, except it's called the, it's just called goop. So check this out if you like. It's streaming on Hulu. I'm sorry to say that I gave it one and a half star. I like I said, I found it very frustrating. It was it was it was it was a frustrating watch. I did not, I, I was not picking up what it was putting down. 